E3 is Christmas for gamers. It's a time when new games were announced, showcased and even shadow dropped. With the lack of E3 last year, the hype and excitement has grown more than ever. It also helps that all gaming platforms have a lot to talk about. What's up guys, it's Nathan and this is my top 5 E3 announcements we want to see. Number 5. Sony's Counterpunch to Game Pass it's no secret PlayStation has some of the best exclusives in the console market. Homegrown studios like Insomniac have already been doing the work with Spider-Man Miles on launch and Ratchet and Clank just around the corner. I believe great quality titles even with the lack of multiplayer should still be full price. For the first time though Sony's issue is more to do with the competition, Game Pass. PlayStation fans will always be happy with the games the console brings and rightfully so. But buying any two titles like Returnal, Horizon 2, Ratchet and God of War 2 is well over a year's worth of Game Pass. And that's if you pay monthly without cheaper alternatives. Hell, that's not even including the PS Plus you will need to play online. The value for these exclusives is being questioned more than ever now, with PlayStation fans wanting something of the same status on their own console. Microsoft's new marketing has PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan going on record that an answer to Game Pass is in the works. Now, no one knows exactly what that means as of yet, but if there were a time to announce a counterpunch, there's no better place than E3. Number 4. The Nintendo Switch Pro the Nintendo Switch is capable of things that no other platform can do. I've already stated in an earlier video I love the handheld aspect of the Switch, but that doesn't come without its limitations. Nintendo have already done a good job with how the games run. Just looking at Monster Hunter Rise, it's pretty impressive. Even if it's running at 30 FPS, having 4 player co-op and a handful of monsters at once without frame rate issues hindering your experience is an achievement in itself. Although some of the minor negative feedback is that the game looks outdated compared to the previous Monster Hunter worlds on the PS4 and Xbox One. That could all change. Rumours for as long as I remember now seems to be pointing at a new Nintendo Switch Pro to be announced. A bigger screen and when docked scaling up to 4K and more importantly running games at 60fps. I know this isn't for everyone but the thought of playing the next Zelda Breath of the Wild at 60fps kinda makes me want to take a cold shower right now. <laughs> Here's hoping that this is the year for that next system upgrade. Number 3 Metal Gear Solid Remake Believe it or not, but once upon a time Konami used to make video games. I know, sounds crazy right? Hoarding some of the greatest IPs in history and doing absolutely nothing with them. It's painful to see games like Silent Hill and Metal Gear Solid sitting on the shelf just waiting to make money. Well, that might all change. For the first time in years Konami have confirmed a spot at E3. Now I don't know about you, but that strongly suggests big news is coming, which will go hand in hand with the PS5 Metal Gear Solid rumours. Going off certain outlets, it will be Bluepoint taking the lead. For anyone unfamiliar with Bluepoint, this studio is behind Shadow of the Colossus remake on the PS4 and recently Demon's Souls remake for the PS5 which was met with fantastic feedback and it's the strongest reason to own a PS5 right now. I don't know what a Metal Gear Solid game looks like without Hideo Kojima but with it being in the hands of respected developers this is a remake I can't wait to see on today's consoles. Number 2 GTA 6 You don't need me to tell you how big GTA 6 will be. Every time one comes out the whole world goes on pause and that's coming from someone who isn't the biggest fan of them. Even I must give respect to Rockstar for always delivering some of the most robust and polished games to date. Unlike some series that come out every year or two, GTA always takes a few years in between. But not as long as this though. I'm talking an entire console of generations with the last one releasing on the 360 and PS3. GTA 5 has found insane success with the online, even applying updates up until just a few months ago. Rockstar are putting in the work and they deserve all the praise that comes their way. That's not to say there's a huge fan base waiting for the next mainline title in the series. Who's the main character or characters? Where is it going to be set or what timeline is it going to take place? These are the questions that surround the hype and announcement of a GTA game. This could have easily been number one on anyone's list but for me it fits nicely at the second spot. Before I move on, I would like to thank you for getting this far into the video and ask for a like and subscribe as it just helped the channel go a long way. We try and bring you content every week. Number 1 Starfield 
Starfield is the next AAA title from Bethesda Games Studios, the same team of developers behind Elder Scrolls and the Fallout series. Starfield will be the first brand new IP for them in 25 years. This game was announced back in 2018 but we've yet to see the game itself. Over the last few months, very reliable insiders are suggesting that the game will be shown at this year's E3. Some are even speculating for a full release later this year. Now I'm not getting my hopes up for a 2021 release, that would just be a bonus at this point. I'm just dying to see what the next big title looks like. Fallout and Elder Scrolls are easily considered to be some of the biggest series in the gaming industry. As much as I would love to see Fallout 5, Having a new IP join the family is more interesting and important to see the team moving forward with new games like Starfield. All we know so far is that it's a first person single player RPG set in space. This might be me hyping myself into a frenzy but the thought of an Elder Scrolls type of game set in space blows my mind. And there we have it guys, my top 5 announcements I want to see at this year's E3. Let us know what you're looking forward to in the comments below. And while you're here, why not check out Alfie and Adam's fantastic video on Brawl Stars. Personally, it's my favourite video on the channel so far. I've been Nathan, and as always, GG guys.